Let's talk about health. I have written here different kinds of doctors, you see, homeo, hello. There are different kinds of doctors, you see, but I talk about Hippocrates. He was born 2450 years ago, right? And there are other categories, consultants, guides. So we usually go to doctors. We don't go to consultants. We don't have guide. In Western world, they usually refer consultants. Doctors will treat, but there are so many doctors. How can you understand which doctor can be uh, necessary, what to do, when to do, a lot of things. So a consultant will guide you. So consultant will tell you, this is serious, you go to that doctor. This is very little, don't worry, take care. And the last kind is guide. So I've been trying to be trying to be guide to so many people, mostly my relatives, my students, my neighbors, my friends, like that. So guide is the best kind because doctors are busy, they will only prescribe medicines. Consultants are busy, they will just quickly say that go to that doctor, but they will not give that much time. A lot of test reports, so many things should be taken care of, should be under consideration, should be research. A doctor should be a researcher, a doctor should be a philosopher, a consultant should be a researcher, a philosopher, right? But even when they are, how can they give you so much time? They need money. Patients are thronging, lots of patients together. Even patients become very anxious are very much, I mean, waiting for the doctors. So what happens is that in different ways, what happens is the doctors become very quick and consultants are very quick. So all you have to do is, cons I mean, stay with guide. So I've been working as guide. So what's the difference? A guide has a lot of time. So if my sister is sick, if my relative is sick, then I have a lot of time because I like him, I like her. So very important for me. So I'll check all the uh, medical reports. Some reports need to be made later. There may be a lot of tests she or he should go for. So many things. So a guide is most important. A guide can help you all the way. Rasulullah was the guide. We follow hadith and this is the guide. As Rasulullah is no more, we have his words, his activities, everything written in hadith. <clears throat> and Allah has given us the Holy Quran. What he says is there in the Holy Quran. So these are the things we use as guide. But Allah does not talk to me directly. He has given the Holy Quran. Rasulullah is, is no more. So I can't talk to him. So he has done something that's written in this hadith. Whatever he done, everything is there in the hadith. But as a medical uh, health problem, what can you do? Doctors are too busy, consultants are too busy, and they're not always expert. Uh, it's a profession. A doctor may not have all the experience, a lot of other problems. But a guide, if you have a relative, if you have your sibling or someone who is philosopher, who is researcher, who takes so much care of him, right? He learns a lot, he knows a lot. I've been practicing medical science for over eight years. Oh, over 30 years, I, what happened 30 years ago, I learned a lot about uh, breast cancer and one or two years later my father died so many years ago and before that he was paralyzed a bit and I learned a lot about paralysis, what to do, post paralysis condition, post stroke condition, right? Uh, and then I had a fistula, then I learned it, I tried my best to learn as much as I could and then I had, I found diabetes. So I learned about it. This is how I got into this medical science. And my experts are professors from America mostly. 
डॉक्टर एरिक बर्ग डॉक्टर स्टेन एक बर्ग डॉक्टर विलियम ली दीज आर फ्रॉम अमेरिका बट डॉक्टर विलियम ली वॉज बोर्न इन चाइना बट ही वेन टू अमेरिका वेन ही वॉज एल जी किट सो यू कैन से ही इज अनादर अमेरिकन डॉक्टर एंड फ्रॉम फ्रांस शी इज जे सी इन चॉस्पी एंड दर इज ऑल्सो ए डॉक्टर इन इंडिया माखीजा पूजा माखीजा शी इज डायटिशियन शी इज अ डायटिशियन ऑफ दीपिका पादुकोन ऑल दी हिरो हिरोइन लाइक दैट सो स्पेशली आई फॉलो डॉक्टर एरिक बर्ग एंड डॉक्टर स्टेन एक बर्ग एंड डॉक्टर विलियम ली and in case of diabetes uh, jc in chospi so i spend on an average 10 hours on this for over 8 years and i always follow the uh, test reports and i always give them some test reports so that i can understand what's going on inside the, them and i usually support sub suggest them different foods and there are four things i always tell keep your tension under control move as much as you possible sleep as well as possible 8 hours a day and have food free from sugar free from starch free from carbs as much as possible and do not have food within 12 hours 24 hours a day so at least 12 hours don't eat anything if it is 20 hours that's the best but don't go for food before you have spent 12 hours right so food window and a empty window right you can't have food for uh, more than 12 hours a day right if it is possible you stay without food for 20 hours and or even more so i give you some examples why a guide is so essential my niece she had a problem her uh, breast size was so big it was because of hormone right because of that excessive amount of hormone she had this problem and it was in 2014 he she was very little she was at the time 10 years old like that and she developed one problem she, and it was not addressed but medicines were did. administered she ate medicine she ate junk food she did not sleep well she did whatever she like you understand in a in a very bad way and she could not do with the problem and then many other problems arrived she developed problem with endometriosis ovarian cyst there are so many complications irregular menstruation heavy flow blood shortage hemoglobin shortage pain before after the menstruation this is horrible right a guide needs to tell any girl who has any problem there are three problems a girl may have pre menstruation maybe post menstruation maybe a lot of pain so a girl may have may start menstruation even for 8 years of age may even have menstruation for the first time even up to 14 years then this is serious and the other thing is that if a girl has problem with pain so before after if it is when she is having a menstruation if she has pain and if the pain goes higher and higher in course of time then this is a great bad sound very bad sound she must go for investigations she should have her blood test there are different investigations that are necessary for her otherwise she will be in trouble and she can't have medicines she has to improve her uh, i mean improvement she must have a lot of exercise she must have food without sugar without carbs without starch and she should have food at least 12 hours after right she should not have food frequently one time one meal a day or mad or one meal a day she can have two meals one and a half meals maybe three meals but not more than three meals 
it's not good. So exercise is important. Without sugar, food is very important. Tension under control is important. Sleep uh, almost eight hours a day is important. So all these things uh, guide will uh, guide the patient. Like when a girl gets married, the guide must tell her that after 15 or 20 days or within a month she has to have her urine checked because uh, urine infection is called a honeymoon situs. It means after the marriage takes place a girl develops urine infection. Why? It's because the girl may be amateur, the husband may be amateur, there may be problems, they may be fast, they don't know how to have full play, they don't have the lessons, knowledge, how to peacefully develop relationship, right? Bed relationship. Then what happens? She has micro cuts. Micro cuts means you cannot see in your bare eyes. You have to have microscope. Microscopic view can show that there are urine infections. Then you have to have antibiotic and you have to check it after six months or within one year it's dangerous so what she does she doesn't go to urine test doesn't go for urine test because she doesn't know but if there's a guy he or she should tell her the husband should be told should be advised so Hippocrates I follow because 2450 years ago he was born and he told you are what you eat so he tells that it depends on your health what kind of food do you have how do you eat food so food second quotation he says food is thy medicine so what is your medicine your food is medicine so food is thy medicine you are what you are so I follow his principles and I research on this and as I told those doctors world famous, the best doctors, Dr. Eric Edberg, Eric Berg, Dr. Eric St Dr. Stan Edberg, uh, in, in J.C. Insospi, Dr. William Lee, Puja Makiza, there are other doctors as well. So these are the best doctors and they always follow Hippocrates. So I tell that I follow Hippocrates science. I don't say homeo, I don't say aloe, I don't say homeo. What I say is that I am a physician, I am a doctor based on Hippocrates medical science. Hippocrates medical science. He was born similar to the age of uh, Socrates. Right? Socrates was a guide. He used to show the path, what to do, what not to do, how to earn. Even when he had no education, no school, no copies, no books, nothing, no tutors, no teachers, teachers. He became the father of Western philosophy. It's all because he researched. He, so a doctor must be a researcher, a doctor must be a voracious reader, a doctor must try to become a philosopher. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.